Hey guys, this is Max, and today we're going to be talking about the Yeti 6000X from Goal Zero. This solar generator is the largest model released by Goal Zero. And so first we'll talk about the ports. So these ports are familiar, or are the same with the 3000X and 1500X. So on the right-hand side, you have two AC outlets capable of 2000 watts continuous and 3500 watts surge power. In the middle, you have the LCD screen. And then below that, you have the USB ports. On the left, you have the 12 volt outputs. And then also on the way left, you have the inputs for solar and AC charging. So for the ports, you have them listed here. The main ones that I want to highlight are the USB-C PD port which is great for new newer devices that require this. And then on the bottom, you have the, the uh, 2000 and 3500 watt inverter rating. But uh, in addition, also the uh, HPP charging port, which is just the Anderson power pole charging port is capable of up to 600 watts of input. And this is great because you could use this for AC charging and solar charging. The AC charger is a 600 watt charger that comes with the 6000X. The 3000X and 1500X are different, uh, have less input power from the wall. Also, you could use solar input up to 600 watts, which is more than the previous generations of uh, the lithium series generators, which only were capable of about 360 watts standard, and then possibly more with the separate MPPT charge controller. So below we have the expansion module port. And what that is, you can see here in this image, you put the expansion ports on this underneath the lid on top of the system. And then there are some other buttons there, the Wi-Fi button, and then some others as well. We'll get into the modules later on. For the battery, you have all the information there, but the main highlights it has a lithium ion NMC battery, which is pretty much uh, expected. And then the pack capacity is over 6,000 watt hours, which is the largest single solar generator that I've seen. And I think it's the largest one available on the market today. There are other systems like the Titan and Energy Flex, which allow you to attach multiple batteries, making them more powerful if you add more batteries than the 6000X. But as a standard unit, just with one battery, um, this system is the largest by far. The management system is MPBT, which is also expected for a system like this. And that is the best charge controller you can get for your money. The weight is 106 pounds, and this is obviously heavy, but if you compare this to a previous solar generator from Gold Zero, the 1250, that one had a lead acid battery, which had most of the weight in there, but that one weighed about 104 pounds. So that one had one fifth of the power of the 6000X. So thinking about that, there's a lot of innovation in between. Special features. So the first one I want to highlight has to do with the MPBT module, which is this. This goes underneath the lid, as I've mentioned previously, but you can use it specifically for solar power, solar input power with the X series, the uh, 3000X, 1500, and the 6000X. You'll get an additional up to 360 watts, allowing a total for a maximum of 960 watts from solar. This MPPT module is an extra $100. Next year, I just want to highlight that it is only for solar input capabilities. So it's not available. You can't use the MPPT extra charge controller for anything other than solar input. Also, you have the Yeti application. If you're not familiar with this, I recommend checking it out on Goal Zero's website, or I believe they have some videos on their YouTube channel about the application. You can turn on and off ports as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, and you can also check the history usage of your generator. The roll cart, this comes with the system, and obviously it's a huge 
plus because you don't need to lug it around that would be a very hard thing to do unless you were ripped the home integration kit so this is not included with the system but you can use this inside your home of course you'll need an electrician to make this happen because it's very uh, risky and you could uh, hurt yourself if you don't have any technical expertise but this would be great if you wanted to attach your generator to a circuit in your home to maybe run at your refrigerator uh, instead of using the grid power. All right, so what to look out for. You cannot use the MPPT and the Yeti Link expansion module. That's for external batteries simultaneously. The reason why is because the, these are the two systems they go in the exact same place, which is underneath the lid, as I've mentioned. This is the tank battery on the upper right, and that one connects to the system directly below it. And then the one on the left is the MPBT module. So you just can't use those at the same time. But in the meantime, depending on when you're watching this video, I want to highlight that they don't plan to release the updated M or not MPVT, but Yeti Link module for this system or any of the Yeti X lines until possibly mid December 2020. So don't I wouldn't recommend getting any any expansion modules or any of those tank batteries until they come out with this system. So you cannot use external third party batteries. I checked their website on this and I don't see anything alluding to external third party party batteries. This is unfortunate because there are some other systems out there that allow you to expand your system to other third party batteries, which allows you to expand battery capacity at a low cost. So that is unfortunate. Next here, I'm only going to highlight the main points of this one. This person asks, and this is on the frequently asked questions or just uh, Q&A section of the uh, Yeti models. This is specifically for the 1500X, but since their ports are very similar, if not identical, this I just want to highlight. This person is talking about the um, the powerful inputs saying, and this is on their website for the 1500X, you can get up to 600 watts max of solar. But on the actual port, it said it has only uh, 300 watts maximum of solar input. This person who is not from Goal Zero mentioned that they got a 1500X and it would only go up to 405 watts maximum and then it would shut down. This person got a new 1500X sent to him and then it still doesn't go beyond 330 watts for him. So that's something to look out for. What is advertised for the 1500, 3000X and 6000X is that you can get 600 watts from solar from the Anderson power pole connection, but this person and this other guy, uh, they were both concerned about that not happening. And one person actually experienced that not happening. So this is, this was only one comment and I don't see any other similarities in the Q and a sections of the 3000 X or 6000 X. So this is just something to have in the back of your mind. You'll probably be able to return it easily, but, um, that's just something to be cautious about. Next here is another question asked, and this has to do with the 3000X. So this person is asking if they can hook up the Anderson port and the eight millimeter charging ports together to increase the charge time. But when Goal Zero responded, they actually said you cannot use both of them at the same time because the Yeti will only accept the highest voltage so I, don't try hooking up the 8mm port and the Anderson port because it's only going to take the highest voltage, which is probably going to be the Anderson port. Next here, this has to do with the Goal Zero support talking about the 3000X, saying that it cannot accept input from both solar panels and the included power supply at the same time. Now, I am assuming, but it is a probable that this also applies to the 6000X. So you cannot hook up multiple power sources, so from the wall and from solar at the same time, which is also unfortunate because there are other systems out there that allow you to do this to increase the charge time. It's not waterproof, which is um, 
some people who don't know solar generators, they're not waterproof. And then I also have your 500 cycles to 80% capacity. This is, um, I'll talk about this later, but they're, that, that's mildly concerning, but not super concerning because the 6000X is such a huge battery that you won't be needing to worry too much about the charge cycles for a long time. But there are several other systems out there that have a much higher life cycle rating, expanding the life of your battery over time. So comparisons, I'm going to compare it to two systems, the Titan and the Energy Flex. So we'll talk first about the inverters of each of them. So at the top, the Titan has a 3000 watt continuous 6000 watt surge, which is massive. The Energy Flex 1500 watts and 3000 watts surge. And then the 6000X is right in the middle there at 2000 watts continuous 3500 watts surge power. Next is the battery. So the Titan has the highest battery rating here, uh, depending on how many batteries you connect to it. So as a single system, the 6000X dominates. But since both of the Energy Flex right on the bottom and then the Titan, they both have expandable batteries. So you can just attach multiple batteries to the bottom of the system and increase the battery life significantly uh, and make it much higher than the 6000X currently is. For solar, so the Titan, you can get up to 2000 watts of solar, which is impressive, with two batteries. With one battery is 1000 watts of solar. For the Energy Flex, 400 watts standard, but they have something called the Supercharger, which can allow 1200 watts plus, and the plus is due to, oh, I don't have that here, but the 12,000 watt or 1200 watts plus, you can attach multiple superchargers to the flex. Now this is going to cost a good amount of money, but if you want a, a large system with multiple batteries, you can attach this many superchargers to the system to get up to 4,400 watts. And that is a straight solar power. And that's from their website. So their website is energytech.com. You can check that out for yourself. So that will come at a pretty high price tag, but uh, that's pretty impressive. And then on the right, 600 watts solar, but 960 watts with the MPPT module, which is only $100 more. So that is something to consider, but it's not the highest uh, battery charge rate from solar compared to these two. Lastly, I have in orange here, these are different uh, considerations to make sure you research yourself. I can't do this all because it will just make the video too long, but AC charging, the price, and then the charge cycles. The charge cycles is very important. I definitely recommend checking that out as well. So what can you use these for? Now, the main ones that just came to my mind, home backup, that one's pretty obvious for the 6000X. An off-grid cabin, that might be very useful and then construction pro projects. Now, this was in the 6000X like sneak peek from Goal Zero, but um, I'm not sure how many people are actually going to use it for construction projects, but these are just three ideas I have. If you're trying to go camping or something with this, clearly it's way too big. I highly recommend getting something smaller. And so some further recommendations, get a gas generator if you don't mind the noise because it's going to be less expensive. Obviously, you'll have to pay for fuel over time. So if you're using it a lot, then the solar generator would be ideal. But if you're only using it for power outages that happen every now and then, gas generator might be a better option. If you need portability, this is not for you. I previously mentioned this, but the 3000X is like half the weight. Not really. I, I think it's towards 70 pounds but it's uh, a lot lighter. Even the 1500X is much lighter. So uh, get something smaller if you're trying to move it around more. And then research Q and A's. I showed you some Q and A's from Goal Zero's site, but make sure to check those out for yourself just in case there's more questions. And then lastly here, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I have a link to the 3000X and 1500X articles below on my website. And then subscribe and hit the bell if you want more of this content and let like and comment as always. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks and have a good day.